What's up, people? Welcome back. Well, earlier today I was at a friend's house. He asked me to take a look at his Windows PC, which was running slow. I noticed his PC didn't seem that old. He said he bought it a couple years ago. It's a Sony VAIO touchscreen, Intel Core i3 processor. Very nice, running slow. I asked him, what kind of maintenance schedule do you have? He looked at me and said, what maintenance schedule? So to make a long story short, I ran some maintenance utilities and about an hour and a half later, I gave up. I said, we're about 50% there, but you might want to consider running Linux Mint at least in a dual boot mode. So here we are, speaking of Linux Mint, this is Linux Mint 17 Kiana KDE. And I have to tell you, even running this inside a virtual box, it has been, well, so far flawless. I haven't tested every single piece of software, but the, the developers at Linux Mint, you know, for the past four or five years, they are to be commended. This is one of the best operating systems in the world period I've always liked Linux Mint my personal favorite right now is probably the mate or mate edition but if you're coming from a Windows environment and wanted something that somewhat resembles or somewhat mimics you know Windows 7 this might be the one to go with the ubiquitous start button or the start menu as you see here uh, very very comfortable to use if you are a Windows user and even even if you are a power user I don't see why you wouldn't like anything from Linux Mint this of course can be changed just to right click and go to the classic menu style I don't see any point of doing a full review of this because well for several reasons because number one I didn't run into any bugs so far and number two it's super easy to use if you prefer the classic menu as you see here what's what, what I would call a tree style menu here very easy to use uh, VLC I noticed still installed by default one of the best media players for both uh, Windows and Linux uh, keep in mind if you do this if you install this uh, do this as a full install this is going to run faster even although in a virtual box it's not that bad either this is using the dolphin file manager very full featured customizable as most Linux distributions are I have no problem recommending this to my friend who has pretty much always been a Windows uh, user KD of course famous for little gadgets or widgets let's see how about if we add an analog clock and there we go of course you can make your desktop as lightweight or uh, as sparse or as busy as you want it if you just want to keep a simple clock sure why not let's just keep it there of course I showed you the right click go to folder options here uh, let's see let's see let's see let's try let's try the beach that sounds very inviting I like that let's um why don't we move the clock to the tree and we have a tree clock ha 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 some other shortcuts here, of course, desktop, you can add a panel widgets, shortcuts, lock widgets, leave, of course. Again, very, very user friendly. Uh, of course, the install Linux Mint shortcut here, this has a very user friendly install process. You can either use this to install the entire hard disk or run it as or install it as a dual boot. I showed you this if you prefer the more standard KDE launcher go to switch to application launcher style and there you go pretty much pretty much self-explanatory let me try typing in music and this will give you everything that's related to music or almost everything related related to music in Linux Mint KDE if you are using Windows 7 and prefer a search bar this might be the one to use once again even this can be changed from that to classic or something else. There's a home run launcher style menu and a few others, but if you like it the way it is, there's nothing wrong with it. I do have one rant, and this somewhat surprises me. There should be a standard volume meter here if you're going to do any kind of screencasting or volume recording. And you would think with a full featured desktop, there's no volume level here. That's just silly, in my opinion but that's how I see it other than that what can I say Linux Mint 17 another winner and from this window Windows user to all of you guys out there I definitely recommend this 
So I leave you with a thumbs up for Linux Mint 17 Kiana the KDE edition as the clock falls off the tree. Wee.